the hectic campaign that was conducted by the prime minister and the home minister and the entire cabinet so they, the traction among the people is not really as they were expecting and this is not surprising because today we have in india they put out the gdp growth rates today rbi has put it out claiming it's going to be 7.82% over 7.8% of the last quarter our own the bjp's and the modi government's own chief statistician mr sen has actually said that these figures are the wrong estimate and the gdp cannot be more than 6.5% now this is in reality if you look at the situation last year according to the income tax department more than 40000 corporates have dropped out of paying taxes that is they stopped i mean they are not paying taxes which means 40000 corporates have closed operations and then now the uh, figure is come out of the fdi flows and this is by the rbi the earlier figure is from the income tax department the rbi has shown between april september last year and this year the net fdi inflows into india has dropped by a staggering 77% so where does this growth rate and what calculations is it coming from we have the highest unemployment rate india has ever faced the national labor survey has said that 58% of indians are doing self employment and therefore they are not unemployed no this is i mean no economist can accept this as a need objective reality unemployment is rising price i mean inflation is rising we have seen our decline in the global hunger index so the net result of the people's welfare is that their livelihoods are being excessively burdened and that is finding a reflection in these election in in these elections and i'm sure that will find a reflection in in the coming elections also in a very big way so this is an important indicator that the growing people's discontent and on top of it is the communal sharpening of communal polarization the spread of vicious campaigns of hate and terror targeting of the minorities targeting of women and the marginalized sections the dalits and the obcs and the other adivasis in our country so all this put together there is an absolute necessity for a change in the central government in india the cpim is committed to further strengthening the india bloc to ensure that the task of safeguarding the character of the indian republic which is the secular democratic character as defined by our constitution to safeguard democracy and democratic rights of our people it is imperative that this bjp government led by mr modi must be separated from holding the government and state power so that is the objective with which the india bloc will work once these election uh, results are out so then the constituents of the india bloc will sit together and plan out the future course of action that we will undertake